Today we are showing how to make a 3D printed pocket slingshot. We strongly recommend to not allow kids under 9 years old to use this, unless proper supervision. For any time and anywhere, do not shoot people. The slingshot was designed in Fusion 360. You can also download the models in Cloud 3D Print's website. After we designed the model, we're using our software, Cloud 3D Print, to slice the models. We create a project called Pocket Slingshot and upload the STL models to the project. We put all the models into the hotbed, choose slicing parameters, and start slicing in the cloud. When we get the G-code files, we can start printing. After 10 hours, all parts are printed and ready to be installed. We have printed four parts. They are inner cylinder, outer cylinder, frame, and stand. Here are all the parts printed out. Now, we are going to remove the support. We have separate frame into two parts, the upper frame and the lower frame. After that, we prepared all the parts of pocket slingshot. Next step is grinding the surface. Grinding can make the parts easier to assemble. Let's start. Now we have grinded all the parts. My hand is hurt due to careless. Be careful during operations. Next step is assembly. First, we put the rubber sleeve onto the inner cylinder. Along the side, it looks fine now after minor adjustment. Second, twist the inner cylinder to the outer cylinder with right directions. Actually, we have already achieved the function of pocket slingshot. In order to easier hold it, we have designed a frame to make it more comfortable to handle. This one is ready to play. It is funny. Next step, we're gonna glue the stand and lower frame together. The reason to print separately is that we have thought to minimize the support section. If we print like it, we have to add supports in this area, and if we print like it, more supports are required. Therefore, we have made two parts in the software. Now, we're gonna firstly assemble them. After, we're gonna use polishing agent to glue together. It should like this. The agent is toxic and evaporable. Be careful. After glue, push for a while and wait for solidifying. We still see a gap here. We're going to use some plastic powder, generated by grinding, and apply some polishing agent to fill out the gap. After waiting a while, the glue has been solidified. Now we just need the last step. We take the pocket slingshot, put to the frame, and cover by the upper frame. And then we use screws, which are M3 times 20, to fasten the frames together and apply the nuts. Okay, we have made our pocket slingshot. Cannot wait for testing outside. Oh. We stand about five meters away from our target. Because we do not have mud pill, we just use some beans as our bullets. Now we put one bean into the pocket and shoot. The first is missed, let's continue. All missed. What happened? Oh yes, it's so powerful. Next target is banana. are very powerful. Some beans are completely embedded into. Next, we're going to test the box to see how many layers can the beans shoot through.
See this layer? It completely shoots through. Next box. It does not shoot through, but we can see a minor dent here. It can shoot until the top layer of the third box. Unbelievable. The pocket slingshot is pretty powerful. If you like it, you can download the models from our website. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Cloud 3D Print to see the latest videos.